the Obamas are the last major Democratic endorsement the vice president needed. In five days, the Democratic Party has completely unified around Vice President Harris, and she is on her way to becoming the Democratic Party nominee and possibly the first woman president. Are you surprised at how quickly this intra-party transfer of party has been? What a week. It has been so exciting. Jonathan, as you said, just think about it. Five days ago, just five days ago, President Biden endorsed Vice President Harris. She has had grassroots organized phone calls of 160,000 people breaking the Zoom, raising more money than has ever been raised in one week in any campaign ever. As you put it, endorsements up and down, all around enthusiasm and excitement. And it just feels like a just a very special moment. And to have both President and Michelle Obama call her on the telephone and make such a personal endorsement was a crescendo that we needed at the end of this week. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you, how you know, uh, about how you know the vice president. Well, we go back quite a ways from the time when she was serving as the attorney general in California, and I was working in the White House. Um, I know her uh, son-in-law, or not her son-in-law, her brother-in-law, Tony West, very well. We worked together during the 07 and 08 campaign. I've had a chance to admire and respect her career literally for decades. And there is no one better prepared, more ready, more competent, more enthusiastic, and has infused hope around our country. I know everyone around the country just feels this sense of possibilities. And she represents really the, the best of America, and I think she's embracing the country as a whole. And this is just the first week. A hundred days to go, and I think it's going to be an extraordinary campaign, and, and I'm just so in around the country. Valerie, you know what it took to elect the first black man president. You were there from, from the very beginning. Some voters might need help expanding their vision of an American president to a woman, a black woman. What would be your advice on that? Listen, I think that when you listen to her story, it's a quintessential American story. It's part of what makes America so amazing. It's a country of inclusion. She, her whole life has been the first or the only. She's broken all kinds of glass ceilings. And the thing that I really respect about the vice president is she's always determined to open up that door a little wider so that she's not the first and only, but that many more come after her. And look, let's face it, we've already seen women who have run for this high office before. Hillary Clinton was the nominee. I think our country is more than ready for Vice President Harris to assume the presidency. There's nobody better prepared. She's been right there for four years by President Biden's side, been a part of all of the deliberations and meetings and giving him wise advice and counsel, and been a surrogate around the country on her own, around the world, in fact, Jonathan. So she is more than ready for this opportunity. And I just can't wait to see how the country continues to respond to her as they have over the last five days. And not just the next hundred days, but the entire time that she's in office. And, and she's going to need that kind of enthusiasm to stay with her throughout. And I love the way both President Michelle Obama said, look, we're here for you. We want to see you get in office and we want to see you do a fabulous job once you're there. Hey, Valerie, how can the Obamas best help Vice President Harris in the 100 days that are left in this campaign? Look, I think it's going to be all hands on deck. Of course, we're going to um, look forward to seeing the voices of both President and Michelle Obama. But there are many other voices around the country that are important. And I think part of what uh, the vice president has made clear in these first five days is that she wants a really big tent. She's so excited, I am sure, about the grassroots organizing. The fact that in just a couple of hours, women and men are organizing these calls around the country. <laughs> and you, not only are they getting excited about it, but they're raising money for her. And I think it's going to require, as I said, all hands on deck. This race will be close. It will be hard work. 
She's prepared. She's willing to roll up her sleeves and earn every single vote during the campaign and then become the president for all of America. And I think that's just the breath of fresh air that um, we need right now. And I you know, think there's been a lot of anxiety of late. And what I've been hearing this week from around the country is true hopefulness. And I, um, I can't wait to see how she governs when she's president. You know how how there's so much excitement and hopefulness. Uh, the calls that you mentioned, there's a white dudes for Kamala call <laughs> next week. That's how you know folks are ex folks are excited about this candidacy. Valerie and, Jarrett, and young, people, young people too. Right. And that's what we need. Right, Valerie Jarrett, former senior advisor to President Obama. Thank you very much for coming to the last word.